bus, I'll see you whole weekend. Got a real nice pair of bowls out here that we can use for our grand and reserve. The grand will be on the spring yearling bowl on the far side. Just a real nice, complete kind of a package here. A bowl that's got a lot of muscle to them, got plenty of mass to them. You like his mouth, the bone underneath him. And above all, you really like the way when he decides to, he can really get out and track and move real sweet on his feet and legs. He'll cover his own tracks. Uh, front to rear without any trouble at all. Our, second, our reserve champion bull on our fall bull cap, uh, an awful lot in his type and kind like our year one bull. Bull that's longer than he is tall, uh, bull that's got a lot of dimension to him and a lot of balance to him. Um, two very nice bulls for our grand and reserve. Big, ain't they? There we go, some not so big. Look how big that one is. And the other one. There you go. Wow. Oh, it's two goals, two entries. Oh, look at them. Ain't they nice? There you go. Oh, he wants them to. I didn't need them to go around in a circle here. But they all show that way so they can look at the back. Get them to spread their legs a little bit. Stand perfect. In the ring now for the dairy show, we have the Brown Swiss Summer Yearlings with three entries. The next class in the ring will be the Jersey Summer Yearlings with three entries. Followed by the Holstein Summer Yearlings with five entries. some over there and they're showing. We're now ready for our Simmental group of two bulls with three entries. The next class after this one will be the Delta Galloway two-year-olds with two entries. All right, look at that. Well, at least wants to get it all going all mixed up. I don't know what's going on. Maybe some of you guys can uh, follow that. Oh, that's two entries. I have no idea what any of this is. They seem to have a group going over there and a group going over here. And I guess those who have them in the entries know what's going on, but I don't. Oh, okay. 
a couple just passed me by. Let's stay close to the posts here. There's quite a few there. Ooh. They did get their ropes tangled out. Uh-oh, I think they're a little tangled out then too. Had them so together, they're still together. And untangle their rope. Separate them and time for the contest. Hey, don't touch my feet. Leave my feet alone. Let's look at that one being kind of judged. Instead of doing just one class at a time, they're all over the place. I've got a line of black angus over there. That's going on, and the other one's going on, and they're going on. Next class in the ring will be the Belt Galloway two-year-old, followed by Angus Senior Yearlight. One wants to go one way and the other one wants to go the other. All right. Actually, the Simitol two-year-old. It's time for me to move. He's having a hard time with him. Come on, come, come. He class. has no control. It's really, really nice effort to uh, compete in that class, but uh, I'm feeling uh, really good with that uh, very easy winner today. Oh. Uh, I've heard that it uh, really bends out together. Huh? I give them the advantage on the second half uh, that also show a lot of strength and development. But uh, for the first half today, uh, the four ribs are bending better with her shoulder over that uh, really strong effort we've got in second. Second over third, it's, uh, it's overall uh, development and strength and an effort that uh, show more height today at, uh, at her shoulder and uh, an effort that is also uh, showing more length, overall length of her body over that really nice and complete effort we've got in uh, third position. Congratulations. Places in the ground, Swiss. Two things going on at the same time. Oh, look at the little one. 